at this point, do you intend to stay involved with her? Um, based off of last night, potentially, yes. However, um, if, if anything's gonna be resolved, uh, first and foremost, I wanna say, I wanna apologize to y'all for, for the things that I have done to your daughter because y'all, she is a, she's a beautiful girl, she has a good heart, and y'all, y'all are, well, great parents, and I know some things go wrong, and I know y'all have done things. However, everyone does things, and some, not everyone's perfect. Just like I've done things that, and, and I'm not perfect. However, like, I, I hope that one day y'all can find it in y'all's hearts to forgive me for all the things that I've done, and we could come to a conclusion, or, and me and your daughter can be happily off and everything gets better, but if not, I just still wanna apologize sincerely, because I've never given you a chance to apologize face to face. And I want to give you that. I want. I hope you can give me that opportunity to say I'm sorry for everything that I've done to your daughter, and because she doesn't deserve it. She definitely doesn't deserve it. She's a beautiful woman. She's a great girl. She's smart. She's intelligent. Like everything. She's the whole nine yards. And y'all raised a beautiful, wonderful daughter. And <clears throat> but you have no ability to predict that you can keep your hands off of her at this point, right? You know, like you said, I've started, but I don't. No, sir. I, no, I, sir. At this point, the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior. Yes, sir. And at this point, you're a work in progress. You, you have no ability to predict that you can keep your hands off of her in anger, right? Yes, sir. Because, I mean, these are the images of what's happened so far. I mean, she's had black eyes. She's got bruises all over her body. Uh, you, you admit that you've choked her. She's, I mean, we've been through the sexual assault that night. She says that you, you, you have beaten her, thrown her around, sexually assaulted her, choked her. Uh, and that's the, that's the history that predicts yes, what's going to happen in the future unless you get more help than you've got. Yes, sir. So do you expect her parents to support you being with her until such a time as some independent professional says, that you're a safe person to be around? No, sir. I feel like um, for if I was in their shoes, I would hate my guts and I would never want my daughter to ever be around me if I was in their shoes. Right. And how many times have you seen her since you've been here? Last night, for sure. Last night, uh, the night before that. I mean, two out of three days. We've only been here three days. Two out of three days. Yes, sir. You're under a restraining order right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and you violated it twice since you've been here. Wait, am I supposed to agree with you? No, you have. You, oh, you okay. already have. Shoot, I got me sweating. I'm going to pull yeah. up from Clarksville and be back in jail. Shoot. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, <laughs> you, you, you just admitted that you violated the restraining order twice since you've been here. Um, we, we know that, because you uh, just have that on tape. Uh, and you've also admitted to a number of physical attacks, also on tape. Yes, sir. So I'm just saying, would you like to work cooperatively or adversarially? Because the family can take this videotape where you have admitted violating this yes. restraining order they can take this and play it for the judge who issued that order. And trust me, judges who issue orders and then have people just thumb their nose at the order, they don't like that very yes, much. Sir, and I if they take that. this tape and play that for the judge where you have disrespected the court and violated the order, are very likely to put you in jail. Yes. Or would you rather just cooperate and agree that you leave her alone until such a time as you've gotten the help where an independent professional can look these people in the eye and say, I believe he's no longer a threat to your daughter. Yes, sir. So which would you rather I would, do? I would definitely want to get help and definitely figure out a way to where we could work things out and be together. Because that would mean leaving her alone until such a time as, and I will get you the help, by the way. Thank I, you. I will get you professional help so long as you leave her alone until such a time as that professional can look these people in the eye and say, he was a threat, he was immature, he had impulse control problems, he had anger problems, but those have been resolved. Yes, sir. Because I want to help you, I'm not judging you, I want to help you. But if you can't do that and respect that, then they can achieve the same thing by putting you behind bars.